Born and raised in Mississippi and uh, finished at Mississippi State University. And I've done quite a few things during my life, but mainly farm or farm related. Got involved in trying to correct a dying bee club to figure out what we had to do to crank it back up. It had to be something to do with education or the lack thereof. And that's what it all started. So I quit being a good old boy sitting on the sideline and said, somebody's got to do something. And uh, the mayor said, maybe you might be the one. So I'm doing everything I can as long as I've got to try to spread the word that Yes, we can keep bees, and yes, we can keep successfully keep bees. We don't have to follow the commercial model, but we don't have to follow the model that others with this natural way sometimes, which leads us down a primrose path to do nothing except kill bees. And uh, not to pick on anybody, there are ways that you can keep bees. Bees will adapt themselves to a lot of things, but there aren't always the things, as they say, the method of keeping bees or the woodenware or the type of hives and so forth also has something to do with the climate. It has something to do with your forage. All those things have to be taken into consideration and currently they are not always taken into consideration. And there are always exceptions and they seem to grab the exceptions and put them up as the, as the main way to do things, but that's not true. Anyway, at a point somewhere around the mid-90s, I decided that uh, they were never going to fix anything, that the problems were going to consistently be there, and I kept seeing clubs die, clubs dwindle apart. We came up with this teaching. The class is a structured class, which now has turned into the uh, Northern Virginia Teaching Consortium. That's what we're doing the best we can at Sustainable Honeybee Program, to teach others ways that they can truly keep bees and enjoy it. It's fun, the bees don't get bent out of shape, and to minimize the stress in their life will also minimize our stress.